हेलो स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग चैप्टर नंबर सेवेंटीन टिग्नोमेट्रिकल रेशियोज इन टिग्नोमेट्री यू विल स्टडी अबाउट द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द एंगल एंड साइड ऑफ अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल सो इन अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल वी आर हैविंग थ्री साइड्स एंड थ्री एंगल्स फ्रॉम दीज थ्री एंगल्स वन एंगल विल बी नाइन्टी डिग्री एंड रेस्ट टू एंगल्स विल बी एक्यूट एंगल एंड द सम ऑफ दीज टू एंगल विल बी नाइन्टी डिग्री इट मीन्स दीज टू एंगल्स आर complementary angles if this is theta then another one will be 90 minus theta then we are having three sides always the side opposite to 90 degree we will call hypotenuse and if we i am talking about this angle c for this c this bc is the base or we can call adjacent side and opposite to this angle will be the perpendicular height or altitude any one we can call and if i am talking about this angle a for this angle a a b is the base and b c will be the height so when you are choosing base and height see the angle for which angle we are talking base means the adjacent side and height means the opposite side of that angle now we are having some trigonometrical ratios ratio means the ratio of these three sides in the different way first we have sin theta sin theta is the ratio of height and hypotenuse so height i am representing here from p this is perpendicular by hypotenuse so perpendicular means in short i will denote with p and hypotenuse with h next ratio we have cos theta cos theta is the ratio of base and hypotenuse third ratio we have tan theta tan theta is the ratio of perpendicular by base then we have three more ratios which are reciprocal of these ratios next we have cos cosec theta which is the reciprocal of sin theta which we can write hypotenuse upon perpendicular then sec theta is the reciprocal of cos theta hypotenuse upon base then we have cot theta which is reciprocal of tan theta base upon perpendicular sin theta and cosec theta are reciprocal of each other so we can write sin theta is equal to 1 upon cosec theta or we can write cosec theta is equal to 1 upon sin theta or same thing we can write like this also sin theta into cosec theta is equal to 1 so we can use this reciprocal in any way same way we know cos theta is the reciprocal of 1 upon sec theta so cos theta and sec theta are reciprocal of each other so we can write sec theta is equal to 1 upon cos theta or we can write cos theta into sec theta is equal to 1 then tan and cot are reciprocal of each other so tan theta is equal to 1 upon cot theta or cot theta is equal to 1 upon tan theta or the product of these two tan theta into cot theta is equal to 1 tan theta we can write in another way also we can write tan theta is equal to sin theta upon cos theta because if we substitute the value of sin theta sin theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse sin theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse cos theta is base by hypotenuse so this by hypotenuse will cancel out and we will get perpendicular by base so tan theta we can write in the term of sin and cos also similarly cot theta we can write as cos theta upon sin theta next we have three trigonometrical identities first identity we have sin square theta 
plus cos square theta value is always equal to 1. Second identity we have 1 plus sec square 1 plus 10 square theta is equal to sec square theta. And third identity we have 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta. Actually these three identities are the another form of Pythagoras theorem only. As we know according to the Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square base square plus perpendicular square is equal to hypotenuse square. If the whole Pythagoras theorem I will divide with hypotenuse square. So I will get base square by hypotenuse square perpendicular square by hypotenuse square and hypotenuse square by hypotenuse square. So I, I am getting here base by hypotenuse which is equal to cos. So I can write it as cos square theta perpendicular by hypotenuse means sin square theta and this is equal to 1. So I got this first identity. Same way this Pythagoras theorem second time when I will divide with base square. So I will get the next identity and when I will divide with perpendicular square then I will get the third identity. Now we will start exercise 17. From the given figure find the values of sin theta, cos theta, tan theta, cot theta, sec theta and cosec theta. And figure is given one right angle triangle PMO where M is 90 degree angle, uh, base is 12 and hypotenuse is 15 and this angle is theta. So first with the help of Pythagoras theorem we will find out this uh, perpendicular. So by Pythagoras theorem PM square plus OM square will be equal to PO square. Perpendicular square plus base square is equal to hypotenuse square. PM square we have to calculate OM is given 12 and PO is given 15. 12 square 144 and 225. 225 minus 144. So PM square we are getting 81. So PM value will be 9. We got perpendicular is 9. Now ratios we can find out first is sin theta. Sin theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse. Perpendicular is 9. Hypotenuse is 15. 9 upon 15 or 3 3 ja and 3 5 ja. 3 upon 5. Next we have to find out cos theta. Cos theta is base upon hypotenuse. Base is 12 and hypotenuse is 15. Cancel 4 upon 5. Then we have to find out tan theta. Perpendicular by base. Perpendicular is 9. Base is 12. 3 by 4. Then cosec theta which will be the reciprocal of sin theta. So 5 by 3. Sec theta will be the reciprocal of cos theta 5 by 4. And cot theta will be the reciprocal of tan theta 4 by 3. Next question number 1b part. From the given figure find the value of sin a cos a sin square a plus cos square a sec square a minus tan square a. So figure is given one right angle triangle ABC where C is 90 degree and AC is 12, BC is 5. So first with the help of Pythagoras theorem we will find out the hypotenuse. So by Pythagoras theorem AB square is equal to AC square plus BC square. AC is 12 and BC is 5. 144 plus 25. 169. 
एंड वन सिक्सटी नाइन इज थर्टीन स्क्वायर सो ए बी वी गॉट थर्टीन दिस हाईपोटनेस इज थर्टीन नाउ फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट साइन ए साइन ए इज पपेंडिकुलर बाय हाईपोटनेस फॉर एंगल ए पपेंडिकुलर इज बी सी फाइव अपॉन थर्टीन सेकेंड पार्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट कॉज ए बेस अपॉन हाईपोटनेस सो फॉर ए बेस इज ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व अपॉन थर्टीन थर्ड पार्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ साइन स्क्वायर ए प्लस कॉज स्क्वायर ए साइन ए ऑलरेडी वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड फाइव बाई थर्टीन सो फाइव बाई थर्टीन स्क्वायर कॉज ए इज ट्वेल्व बाई थर्टीन स्क्वायर ट्वेंटी फाइव बाई वन सिक्सटी नाइन प्लस वन फोर्टी फोर बाई वन सिक्सटी नाइन आफ्टर एडिंग वी आर गेटिंग वन सिक्सटी नाइन अपॉन वन सिक्सटी नाइन सो इट्स वैल्यू इज कमिंग इक्वल टू वन फोर्थ पार्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट सीक स्क्वायर ए माइनस टेन स्क्वायर ए सीक मीन्स सीक इज द रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ कॉस मीन्स हाईपोटनेस अपॉन बेस हाईपोटनेस फॉर एंगल ए हाईपोटनेस इज थर्टीन बेस इज ट्वेल्व सो थर्टीन अपॉन ट्वेल्व होल स्क्वायर माइनस टेन इज पपेंडिकुलर बाय बेस पपेंडिकुलर इज फाइव बेस इज ट्वेल्व फाइव अपॉन ट्वेल्व वन सिक्सटी नाइन अपॉन वन फोर्टी फोर माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव अपॉन वन फोर्टी फोर so after subtraction we are getting 144 upon 144 so its value also coming equal to 1 next we have second question a part from the given figure find the values of sin b cos c sin b plus sin c sin b cos c plus sin c cos b so right angle triangle is given where angle a is 90 degree ab is given 6 bc is given 10 so first with the help of pythagoras theorem we will find out the third side by pythagoras theorem ab square plus ac square is equal to bc square ab is given 6 ac we have to calculate bc is given 10 36 plus ac square is equal to 100 So AC square is coming hundred minus thirty six equal to sixty four. Therefore AC is coming eight. So this third side we got eight. Now first part we have to find out sine B. So we will think according to the angle B. Sine B means perpendicular by hypotenuse. So for B perpendicular is eight, and hypotenuse is ten. So four by five. second we have to find out cos c so now we will think about c angle cos means base upon hypotenuse for c base is 8 8 upon 10 so 4 upon 5 third part we have to find out the value of sin b plus sin c So for sine b, sine b already we have calculated four by five, but when we are talking about sine c, so we will think according to the c angle. For c, perpendicular is six, hypotenuse is ten, so six upon ten, or we can write three upon five. So after adding, we are getting seven by five. Next, we have to find out the value of साइन बी कॉस सी प्लस साइन सी एंड कॉस बी साइन बी फोर बाय फाइव दैन कॉस सी फोर बाय फाइव प्लस साइन सी ऑल्सो वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड यर थ्री बाय फाइव एंड कॉस बी फॉर बी बेस अपॉन हाईपोटनेस सिक्स अपॉन टेन After cancellation, we will get three by five. So four four just sixteen upon twenty five, three three nine upon twenty five. So sixteen plus nine twenty five upon twenty five value is coming equal to one. 
नेक्स्ट वी हैव सेकेंड क्वेश्चन सेकेंड पार्ट फ्रॉम द गिवन फिगर फाइंड द वैल्यूज ऑफ टेन एक्स कॉस वाई कोसिक स्क्वायर वाई माइनस कॉट स्क्वायर वाई फाइव अपॉन साइन एक्स प्लस थ्री अपॉन साइन वाई माइनस थ्री कॉट वाई सो फिगर इज गिवन लाइक दिस ए बी सी इज अ ट्राइंगल वियर दिस एट द एंगल डी इज नाइंटी डिग्री दिस हियर टू हियर इट इज फाइव ए सी इज थर्टीन एंड बी टू सी इज ट्वेंटी वन सो हियर टू हियर इट इज फाइव मीन्स रिमेनिंग साइड दिस इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन नाउ फर्स्ट इन दिस ट्राइंगल ए डी सी वी कैन यूज पाइथागोरस थियोरम एंड वी कैन फाइंड आउट ए डी सो बाय पाइथागोरस थियोरम इन ट्राइंगल ए डी सी वी आर यूजिंग ए डी स्क्वायर प्लस डी सी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए सी स्क्वायर ए डी वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट डी सी इज फाइव एंड ए सी इज थर्टी सो ए डी स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव इक्वल टू वन सिक्सटी नाइन ए डी स्क्वायर वी विल गेट वन सिक्सटी नाइन माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव इक्वल टू वन फोर्टी फोर सो ए डी वी आर गेटिंग इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व now in this another triangle we can again use pythagoras theorem so in triangle adb by pythagoras theorem ab square will be equal to ad square plus bt square ad we have calculated 12 and bt is 16 144 Plus two fifty six, we are getting four hundred. So it means AB is twenty. So this side we got twenty. After getting all the sides, now we can find out the values. First, we have to find out ten x. Ten x ten means perpendicular by base. So for this angle x, we will see only this triangle now. For this x, perpendicular is five and base is twelve. So five upon twelve. Second, we have to find out cos y. So for y, we will see a triangle ABD. For y, cos means base upon hypotenuse. So base is sixteen, hypotenuse is twenty. Sixteen upon twenty, or four by five. Third part, we have to calculate. cosec square y minus cot square y cosec means hypotenuse upon perpendicular hypotenuse is 20 perpendicular is 12 20 upon 12 whole square then we have cot cot means base upon perpendicular 16 upon 12 Four hundred by one forty four minus two fifty six by one forty four. So finally, we are getting one forty four by one forty four. Value is equal to one. Fourth part, we have to find out five upon sine x plus three upon sine y minus three cot y. Five sine x. Means five upon thirteen. Five upon thirteen will go up. Three sine y. For this, twelve upon twenty. Twelve upon twenty will go up. Then cot y four upon five. Cot y means sixteen upon twelve or four upon three. Cancel out wherever it is possible. Three four ja then four five ja. Three two three. Thirteen plus five minus four. Thirteen plus five eighteen. Eighteen minus four is fourteen. So in this video we are doing till here. Remaining questions we will continue in the next video. Thank you for watching this video.